If you're hungry, and you're really hungry, and Jesus turns one, one loaf of bread into seven loaves of bread for seven people, that's not a, that is not an illusion. We are told that Jesus made the first miracle by turning clay into birds. That's a lie! Oxygen. Where does hydrogen come from? Yeah, originally. Yes. Ah, you got a smile. Where did the sun come from? Yeah, where did it come from? Is which one? Uh. I know you're not sure because you don't know. Uh, yes, I do actually. Yeah, very easy. Jesus made it. Yes, right. Nothing. Yes, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> you don't understand. Jesus made water out of nothing. That's right. No, it was God said. He spoke. He spoke. And then it came. Why is it everything has got DNA? You got it. Okay, go further. Why is everything in the world got DNA in it? Yeah. What is DNA? No DNA. What is it? Yeah, what's DNA? Do you, do you, do you nucleic acid? What is it? Yeah, it's the alphabet of an organism. Yeah, because Jesus spoke it. And today, it, when you have children, right, two people get married and they have sex. Man and woman, married. But they got DNA from the grandparents, Adam and Eve. Jesus made this. Don't you know? Don't you know Jesus is the creator? <laughs> so when I look at the water, the water tells me God made it, but Jesus is the creator. The word of God says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, the earth. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. That's right. Have you ever wondered why Christians tell you Jesus is actually God in the flesh? That's right. Okay, why did Jesus heal the sick? Why? How? Yeah. No, it's not magic. Someone was paralyzed and Jesus said, Man, put out your hand. No. <laughs> and the man's hand was restored. That's right. I know it is. But look, the planet Earth is unbelievable. Let's talk about the man first. Jesus did what again? He spoke the word into existence. No, no, no. To heal the man, how did he do this? He said to the man, stretch it out. Stretch it out. And then it was restored. He had no arm. No, there was an arm, but it shriveled. Oh. Paralyzed. Paralyzed. That's right. Jesus. Restored it. Restored it. That's right, man. But furthermore, so what's the physics on that? you could say, well, I'm a physicist or a chemist or a biologist. You study and study, but you wouldn't know how he did it. <laughs> the atoms kind of grow. Yes, instantly. instantly. Hey, the first miracle, remember, was turning what? Water. Thank you. Can you do that? Can you do that? Can I turn water to wine? Yes. How? Can I distill it? Ah. But that's going to take time, right? Yeah, yeah. Can you do it like this? Oh, that's magic. Uh, uh, it's not magic. It's the power of Jesus. Rub it in a hat, yeah? <laughs> no. Jesus had six gallons of water in, uh, you know, 
purification pots. Fill them up to the top, and they're thinking, what's going to happen here, huh? No, Jesus says, take the wine unto the master of the feast. And they were wondering, where did it come from? Jesus made grape juice out of water. Why is it amazing when God can produce water from the heavens for us? Huh? What's your problem? They killed God. The Muslims say you're lying, and in his Quran, Jesus does miracles. Oh, yes. Uh, why? What? In the Quran, we are told that Jesus made the first miracle by turning clay into birds. That's a lie. <laughs> Jesus didn't do things to show off. To show off. Exactly. Uh-uh. That's, that's, that's the Quran's Muslim. You want to debate? You want to debate? You want to debate? Snake oil. Why did Jesus... My friends. Sell snake oil. Yeah, that's what the Muslims think. You want to debate? Right. You want to debate? No. This is water. Now, the Bible tells us, beware of false prophets that come and speak as corner, speaking bad words about Jesus. Like him. Him. Like him. They don't want to know about God. They want to stop you from knowing about God. Okay? Okay? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, why does the Quran tell us that my book? What, what, you go, okay, what question? Okay. Illusionist? Really? Hang on. If you're hungry and you're really hungry and Jesus turns. One, one loaf of bread into seven loaves of bread for seven people, that's not a, that is not an illusion. The, hungry. You're hungry. And you want to eat. With God, nothing is impossible. What? Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you this. I what? cannot feed yeah. thousands of people with one loaf of bread. Oh, yes, you can. Okay. Hang on. First of all, think. My friend, hang on. If you're a farmer and you have seed, what do you do with the seed? You put it in the ground. Right. What happens at harvest? No, I'm asking. What happens at harvest? Yeah. A big bushel of wheat. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. But Jesus can go instant. That's right. <laughs> the Bible tells us that Jesus said the Son of Man is in heaven and on earth. No problem, brother. No problem. Why? Yeah, why? Jesus did it. Amen. Jesus. Jesus can feed five thousand using only seven loaves of bread, and then you get the leftovers as well. Very easy. No, it's got power. <laughs> it's got power. Yes. No, you don't. You can turn one loaf into ten loaves. Jesus can. No, he's not. Hang on, sir. What is the magician? Uh, Jesus never did tricks. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Jesus. But it's not a trick. Right, hold it. Right, when I was a young, when I was younger, right, uh, I'm trying to explain. It's not a magic trick. Who told it's magic? Hold it. You can go to a school of magic. Uh, <laughs> you can go to a school of magicians 
and they'll teach you tricks. Can we nail this like we did with Jesus? Why? Why? Why you want to kill Christ again? Excuse me, God became a man. Who is Zeus? Uh, is he alive somewhere? Ah, but he's not alive, is he? And he came back from the dead. Hallelujah! No, more reality. No, are you a zombie? Really? Who told you that? You watching too many Hollywood movies, my friend. Jesus said, I am the resurrection. Read the New Testament. In Israel, 2,000 years ago. And he proved it. Yeah. Who saw him? Who saw him? Pontius Pilate crucified him. Uh huh. And he saw him resurrect? No. Who saw him? Paul did. That's right. And Peter. And Matthew. And Mary. And Elizabeth. And Elizabeth. Okay. Where does the church come from and why? That is the answer. The apostles did. Yeah. yeah. Anybody else? No. Anybody else? Uh, yes. Paul. Uh huh. Oh, and another one. Hey, 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 hey. Another name. James. Uh huh. That's right. Who was James? There are two people called James. That's right. That's right. Yes, and he didn't believe in Jesus. He did not believe in him. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. One of the brothers. That's right. And he refused to believe until Jesus. Hey, hey, don't you get it? No, don't. That's uh, James. Who? That's right. He didn't believe in Jesus. But what happened? What happened to James? He believed. That's in the Bible. Yeah. Jesus appeared to James after the resurrection. He knows James. Of course. Jesus knows James. But he didn't believe in him. What I like about him is he's honest. I know. He's got no brain. No brain. But where's the dead body of Jesus? Where's the dead body of Jesus? Where is it? It's not there. No, it's not there. He's alive! Change my heart. Changed my life when I asked him. That's right. In heaven. Jesus is the manager of heaven. The director of heaven. Yes. Uh, his blood purchased it for him. If he's in heaven. Yeah. And look at, yes, you can actually. Yeah, he has a telephone number. Jeremiah 333. That's the telephone number for heaven. Can he come back down to earth? There's a lot of problems down here. No, he sent me to help you. And why should why should he come down when I am here? And my brothers. That's right. Who started the schools in Britain? No, 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 no. Aha. Who started? Who started the hospitals? Uh -huh. We did. Uh -huh. Yeah, what's your problem? Yes. And you're listening. Well done. Well done. You're listening. Sorry, we take Uh-huh. You're listening. Good man. Open your ears wide and God will talk to you. Ah. 
I know, they're closed. You gotta get rid of your sin. Sin is a barrier between God and man. Thank you, God bless you.